All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting in the Freedom Office. Uh, for those guys who are making comments about stuff hanging on the wall back here, guys, I'm a gun channel. Uh, and I do reviews on guns, and I shoot guns all the time. That's the thing. I'm not just a news channel. So for people who are concerned about the firearms hanging up behind me, that they're going to get a count on them, I'm sure they got a good count of what I have if they're really that concerned about it. But in any case, thank you very much for watching my six. I really appreciate it. So we're sitting in the Freedom Office, and I am reading through some stuff. And this comes from the Military Times. And guys, this article chaps my ass beyond any belief. All right, so here we go. National Guard troops kicked out of Senate are back in Capitol following outrage from lawmakers. And this is for the public. Okay, so basically what happened is the National Guard troops were forced to move out of the Capitol complex Thursday evening, have been allowed to return following an outpouring of outrage from lawmakers and the public. Before we get into this thing, I just... No one's wanting to tell who gave the order to get these guys out of here. The rumor is... The National Guard troops were forced to move out of the complex on Thursday evening. Brigadier General Janine Brickhead, Brickhead, hmm. Inauguration Task Force Commander confirms that troops are out of the garage and back in the Capitol building. So what happened is somebody gave an order, and the scuttlebutt is this, uh, that because Congress was in session, no one was supposed to be in the building, so they up and kicked these guys out. Now, this was the location. They had a warm location. They had heat, access to bathrooms, cafeteria, whatever. And if somebody gave the order, y'all got to go. Now, here's the part that chaps my ass. If you've ever been in the military, you know that moving a good number of troops is not a simple task. There's somebody has to be in charge. you got to disseminate the information down, and the troops have to move, and here we go. It's a huge waste of energy because, one, they have to move all the riot gear. they got to remove the personal gear. they got to figure out what's going on. And they put them in a parking garage, okay? They had one bathroom or latrine or head, whoever you used to be with. And if you've ever been in the military, you probably understand what this did to the morale of the soldiers. Now, if you're like me, and I think you are, if you are a veteran... You think of these guys and gals as our brethren. I'm part of them. They are part of me. And I am just as angry as they probably were because they were put in a position where, and guys, this is not the first time we've set up on a concrete slab or a floor, but just to have this extra amount of BS poured on top of them from someone who probably has never been in the military, I'd like to know who gave the order. It had to come from, oh, I don't know, Pelosi or Schumer, you got to think, because those jackasses, they don't care about you. Guys, let me know if you heard anything about this, but did Biden remove all the military flags from the Oval Office? Ah, yeah. Let me know if you know anything about this. So, <laughs> because of the massive backlash over this, we are now being allowed back into the Senate building. One National Guard soldier told Military Times, we're going to make a big show of marching back into the building. Damn right, and you should. Another soldier told Military Times that we were in a Thurgood Marshall Judicial Center parking garage, and it kicked us out of the parking garage to make us walk a half a mile away to the Hart Senate office building parking garage where we can't be seen. So not only did they move from the Senate building, but they went to one parking garage, and I guess that wasn't secluded enough, so they had to move them back. Which leads me to the belief the elitist bullshit that you find up there in the Congress is absolutely ridiculous. And some jackass who actually puts these guys through this maneuver needs to be reckoned with. They need to be held accountable. Just like we were talking about those jackasses, if you come up with kind of bullshit... Oh... Anyway, all right, both soldiers spoke on the condition of a nominee. I'm going to put the article down below. There's a couple good videos in there, people talking about, you know, what a great experience it was. They were coming down there to protest anyway. So, well, there you go. The move back to the Capitol came after a tremendous reaction by lawmakers and the public. Senator Tammy Duckworth, a Democrat from Illinois, announced in a tweet, I guess because she's a Democrat, she's still allowed to have a tweet. Thursday, she just received text from Guard Commander. The last guardsman will clear the garage by 23.30 tonight. She, she responds in a tweet, Unreal, I can't believe that the same brave service members we've been asking to protect our capital and our Constitution these last two weeks would be unceremoniously ordered to vacate the building. 
I am demanding answers ASAP. Yeah, totally get it. Politico says thousands of National Guards guardsmen were forced to vacate congressional grounds today, and they are now taking their rest breaks outside in a nearby parking garage. Just, yeah. Duckworth earlier tweeted, <laughs> made a number of calls and I've been informed Capitol Police have apologized to the guardsmen and they will be allowed back into the complex. I'll be checking to make sure they are, Duckworth said. Made a statement, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, National, you got to understand, I'm trying to read this stuff. <laughs> Greg Abbott, governor of Texas, says, I've instructed General Norris to order the return of the Texas National Guard to our state. At, at Texas Guard. Some National Guard troops who came to Washington to protect the Capitol are less than thrilled with the congressional hospitality. Yeah, I don't doubt it, man. Having to be forced in and out, away from your families, doing all this BS. And I will tell you this, man. Yeah, I just hate it for those guys that are having to deal with all this crap. Uh, they were talking about how Bowen, Bowen or whatever, after uh, all the riots and everything happened in D.C., and they put the guardsmen up in a hotel, she was like, okay, it's over with, y'all got to go. After several days of pulling 12-hour shifts patrolling the Capitol, one soldier told Military Times that the troops were ordered to leave the basement of the Dirksen Senate office building Thursday evening when not on patrol and moved to a cramped parking garage with limited restroom facilities and increased risk of COVID. Okay, so here they're starting to complain, but they're putting it back at it. Instead of being able to rest up after long shifts in the building they were protecting, <laughs> the troops had to bug out to a location about a half mile away. Yeah, listen to this. We were told we had 25 minutes to get everything out of the basement. The National Guardsman's told National Guard soldier who agreed to own the condition of nominee because we, he was not authorized to talk to the media. We had to move everything that included all the gear, computers, riot gear. Everything had to be figured out immediately. And a lot of soldiers were resting in there catching up on naps between shifts. Guys, if you've been in the military, you understand that when you can catch some Z's, man, I used to be able to fall asleep standing up. In an airplane, in the back of a Humvee, sometimes driving a Humvee. You, you know how it works. The basement had been used as a combination of sleeping, staging, briefing, eating, and rest area for hundreds of troops, keeping the capital safe in the wake of the deadly. I'm not getting into that. Uh, the soldier who was unit initially was put up in a ho local hotel said that many later arriving guard troops had to find places to sleep in the capital. And this is a god. I'm going to refrain from saying this, but this is a damn shame. The officials from the D.C. National Guard, which is continuing to support the Capitol Police, told military times that the troops were moved out of the Capitol because Congress is in session. There should have been a variance in the bullshit that they have to deal with. Congress is in session. Increased foot traffic and business is now being conducted. Capitol Police asked the troops to move their rest area. The D.C.N.G. Uh, D.C. National Guard said in a statement they were temporarily relocated to the Third Good Marshall uh, Judicial Center garage with heat and restroom facilities. <laughs> One restroom, I understand. Some troops were able to get the first round of vaccines. I don't want to hear about that. Uh, soldiers also wondered if the concern over COVID. Don't need to hear about that. The soldier said that in the second time he found himself abruptly leave, asked to abruptly leave after coming to protect the nation's capital. This is the part I was talking about. In June, we got called for civil unrest supporting the park police. He said on the sixth day of the mission, after our 12-hour day, we were told that we had three hours to rest, and a D.C. mayor wants you to get out of your hotel. See, this is the whole thing. You got individuals up there who've never served a fucking day in their life in the military, and they're sitting there calling people to do things that they have no idea what it takes. A lady who loves her ice cream and a jackass from New York. Now, I'm not saying it was them, but what I am saying is that there's enough idiots up there that have no idea what these guys go through making these calls. And somebody should have stepped up and said, bullshit. Anyway, guys, that's it. I just have to share it. I'm going to put the article down below. But stuff like this really picks me, pisses me off. And with that being said, uh, we always end them like this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men and women in uniform. Have to sleep in a damn parking garage while doing some bullshit protection to allow people to inaugurate an idiot. Enough said. KB32, I'm out. Y'all be good.